up. What do we do? What do we do to deserve this? I swear that you do it on purpose. Everything we had is all in the furnace. Oh. Guys, I have a crazy story for you. I was at the store, and I guess you could say I got robbed. It wasn't a threatening situation where someone forcefully and physically harmed me, but someone stole my stuff and ran away with it. I was so angry, so pissed. I was at the store shopping, and it was so stupid because I don't usually do this, but I put my pocketbook in my cart. On top of my pocketbook, I had my cell phone. I was just using my phone moments before this happened. I was pushing my cart, and I needed to get something. My cart was really heavy, and I was like, uh, whatever, I'm just gonna leave it here for a second and walk to the other aisle and get what I need and come back. I didn't think twice about this. I came back to my cart, maybe like a minute later, I realized my bag was gone, my phone was gone. I flipped out. I'm like, what the f And I started running, like sprinting in the store, trying to find anybody that maybe had my purse or my phone or anything. Philly chick came out at me and I was so angry. And I was like, I'm not gonna let this person leave. There's no way. And then I went to the front. There was a cop that worked there and I told him what happened real quick, quick as I was watching the people leaving. So he understood what was going on. This was the kind of store that checks your receipt when you leave and the customers are slowly leaving one by one and I'm just monitoring everybody who's leaving the store. I didn't see anything and it was so tough because I didn't wanna be judgmental towards any individual person without knowing if they could have been the person that took my stuff. It was just an awkward feeling, an awkward position. In the meantime, they're watching the video cameras in the store to try and look back on the tape to see what happened. At that point, there was like nothing gathered. There was no information gathered just yet because it kind of takes some time. I had so many different feelings going through me at this time. I was so angry about how the hell could I let this happen to myself? Pissed off at the person. What a piece of crap, scumbag. Oh, I'm so pissed. And then I'm like, oh my God, my car keys are in my pocketbook. They could legit steal my car right now so I like ran in the parking lot and the cop comes with me what he did was he called a backup cop to come sit with my car until everything was safer at that point I'm like I'm stranded in the damn store right now I have no way to buy my stuff I lost all my stuff I have no way to get home so I called my friends Natalie and Jared they got my spare car key then they came to meet me afterwards I went home I was just trying to think about what was in my bag what did I lose what don't I have and I'm like Obviously my credit cards are gone, my cell phone, and I was the most concerned about my cell phone. Obviously I have a lot of accounts, apps and stuff that are logged in and I didn't have my passcode set up, which is very rare. So anybody could just swipe up and just be in my phone. And I was like, oh, whoever this is has access to all of my stuff. And I was trying to figure out how to get my phone turned off first and foremost. Some people were like, no, you should do your credit cards right away. And I'm like, I don't care if they use my card because then I could track them down and figure out like, where they are, what they did, and I could get even more information about it. I mean, I did care, of course, if they used my card. I didn't want them to. At that point, it was the evening, and it was too late to get anything accomplished. Other than I canceled my cards, I got my phone shut down. So the next day, the policeman was like, you can make a police report, you can do this, you can do that. In my mind, I'm like, I could probably handle this better myself, honestly. If the police are involved, they're gonna do their job to the extent that they can. I know that I could gather all the necessary information myself easily, and take care of it and I probably would be more persistent than if a detective was working on the job immediately because they have so many things going on and some things are like way more important than my little stolen pocketbook. So I'm gonna take matters in my own hand and I figured out all this information. They did use my credit card, they used it at two places. I figured out the address of the places, I knew exactly where they were, the time they used it, the amount of money that they spent, which was all extremely useful in figuring out everything. I know, boo-boo, this is crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, he went to a gas station and I called the guy on the phone was so helpful, so nice, telling me I could come in in the morning and I could check the tapes. He'll show me exactly what time based on the transaction, where everything happened. I was like, awesome. He went to a pizza shop and ordered food. So I called the pizza shop and they were cool too. I had it all planned out in the morning. So I went on a heist with my friend Dom. Here's the footage from that day. I am on my way. After all this information I gathered, I'm on my way to the gas station. They're letting me look at the tapes. My boy Dom is here. Dom, show face. What up, people? This is my best friend, Dom. Yo, thank <laughs> you. First of all, thank you so much to all my friends who have been so supportive with this whole situation. But Dom, especially, he helped me out a lot. He's my best guy friend. 
and I was going to introduce you to him one day, but, <laughs> but, but now you, I guess this is like the way it's happening. So. We got to be a little more incognito if we're, I know, going, the, if we're the going funny, gangster style. The funniest thing is, is like I'm all black dressed. When I saw him, he's all black. We look like we're ready for a heist right now. now Semi Philly chick is coming out. I'm trying to hold back because I know I can't do anything stupid. I'm going to refrain from doing stupid stuff, but a part of me really wants to because I'm pissed and I had a huge inconvenience today and yesterday and the whole situation was really effed up. Okay, people are stupid as nowadays. Like you think you could steal from people and take their but no. I know exactly where you were. I'm at the gas station that you went to and used my card. And thanks for your evidence because here I am and I'm gonna get the tapes. This is the gas station. <laughs> I love how they have a baseball bat yeah, just yeah, ready, yeah, ready on the ground here. So wait and see if you come in and buy just gas or whatever and see what, what you got. What time is this one right yeah. now? I can go all the way back and just look it up and just if I, I know what how much it is, I could locate the pump. Exactly. I know exactly what we need to, to look for. We looked at the outside pump at 7.03. This is actually the, the car that you probably gonna be able to locate it, the tag number. And this is a pump number six, seven, eight, nine. The opposite side when you're coming in, just pump one, two. Yeah, this is shady. This is so shady because it's like they're trying to figure out if it works. Cheers. <laughs> I got their license plate number. I can see the face, but I'm going to the pizza shop that they went to and used my card also. And I'm gonna get more information from those tapes. Luckily, everybody's super cool and they're gonna let me watch these tapes. I'm not going the route of the police and the detectives yet because I'd rather do it myself. I think I'll achieve more. I could make a police report later. I don't necessarily even want, I know this is stupid. A lot of you are gonna be like, why not? I don't necessarily want these people to get in big trouble by the law. I just want my back basically. I'm gonna do whatever I can to figure this out. This is the second spot we'll use my card at. Can you look up this transaction for me? Dollars is it was at 728 the time. cameras I was able to see who it was the license plate number and with that information I am then able to get more information I know where this person lives you know where I live but bitch, now I know where you live so come at me no I'm kidding I got my locks changed by the way so I'm safe luckily I live in a building with high security so everybody in the building was on alert I know where you live too so um I'm not gonna do anything, obviously, because I think that that's stupid and two wrongs don't make a right. I mostly wanted to know who it was because a part of me was thinking like, I'm gonna go to this person's house. I'm gonna literally confront them for what happened, try and get anything left that was there still, get it back. And I know it's crazy to think like, you're so stupid, ha <laughs> ha, why would you do that? Well, like, I want my stuff. When someone steals your iPhone, when you shut your phone down, a message will pop up on your cell phone. So the message I said was, I'll literally buy you a new cell phone. I just want my phone back. And I was serious about that. And it's really stupid. When you steal a cell phone nowadays, you can't even use it. Apple prevents it from happening. There's no way that anyone's going to be able to use my phone ever again. It's just annoying that that whole thing would happen and it was stolen. So the bottom line is, if someone's in a position to steal your things, there's things going on in their lives. Like, they probably don't have a good mindset of life and treating others with respect and stuff like that. So, I mean, what goes around comes around. He's not gonna benefit much from what he did. He's probably not able to do anything with my cell phone. So I think some of you are probably wondering why don't I or didn't I go further with the cops and get this guy in trouble, even though I know who he is. I feel like even though he did that to me, I don't want to ruin his life. Once you have criminal charges, that becomes like a huge burden on your life. I mean, I don't think it's right what this person did and in my lifetime I've done stupid things. I just feel like karma is going to get him back. One day, one way or another, it's going to bite him in the ass and I'm just going to let that happen to him. I don't need to do anything to get revenge, even though there was a moment, a feeling I had where I'm like, 
I wanted to go old school Philly chick style and get angry and do something. But I was like, what's the point? That's not going to resolve anything. I'm not going to get my stuff back. It's only going to create a bigger problem. So I didn't do anything that was stupid or revengeful. And I think that that was the wisest decision. This whole thing that happened to me was a huge inconvenience. And I still am putting pieces back together to get situated. When you're in a situation like that, there's no way to verify who you are. I had to go back and forth to the bank like three days. And when I was purchasing my phone, temporary credit credit card I had wasn't working and they couldn't verify me on the phone because I had no information to be verified. And the only way they could verify me was if they were to send a passcode to my phone. I'm like, my phone was stolen and I'm trying to buy a new one. How can I get a verification code? I was just so annoyed and angry, but everything worked out and I feel like I'm almost back to the way everything was. The bottom line is karma is a bitch and this guy has it coming to him in one way, shape, or form. I hope you remember what you did and think about how the pain and suffering you're feeling can relate to something you've done to another human being. All right, peeps, so I hope you enjoyed this story time. If you like these, maybe I'll try and do some more. I have a few crazy stories on the back burner, so if you want more story times, write it in the comments below. And write in the comments, how would you react to the situation? Would you be a person who would get revenge or would you let it go? Just curious. And if you don't have post notifications turned on, turn them on. YouTube has been a little bit weird lately with the way they're delivering videos to people and a lot of people are not getting videos of the people they're subscribed to so do me a favor and turn on push notifications and hopefully that will actually be a notification to you don't forget to smash the thumbs up button I love you peeps peace oh, if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notifications so you'll know every time I upload a video what do we do what do we do to deserve this I swear that you do it on purpose Everything we had is all in the furnace, all of it's burning.